Hi, this is gonna be the second video of Sing Mintas channel and in this video we're gonna talk about the real estate industry in China. We're not gonna talk about uh, the details of the uh, this real estate industries. Instead, we're gonna talk about the price and what's happening to the price recently. And as we all know in China, most of the working class, they, they've spent their entire life, couldn't afford uh, to buy a house in those big cities. We're gonna talk about what's the reasons. Um, and uh, we're gonna talk about what's hap what's happening to the house price recently, and we're gonna talk about like what's the impact of the declines in housing price. So let's start with our first question: so, like why the house price reached such a high point in China? When analyzing the price, we will start to analyze the supply side and the demand side. On the demand side, uh, China has been undergo undergoing the process of urbanization over the past 60 years. In this process, the numbers of people who moved from rural areas to cities, from small cities to large cities, from underdeveloped areas to developed areas. As a result of the urbanizations, the population density in those high, in, in those big cities, are extremely dense. And people's demand for uh, for new house, for residential, uh, for the for the fun house in those areas is extremely high. So the house price in those areas is extremely high. So this is the demand side. While on the supply side, as we all know, in China, the government has a very strong administrative interventions over the real estate industry. Um, the government limit the annual additions of new residential land, which means that um, there's only a limited number of new houses for sale each year. So in conclusions, the booming demand side in cities, while the restrictions on supply side cause extremely high prices, high housing prices in China. So for the second question, like why the house price started to drop recently? Uh, like. Uh, over the past three years, China has been China has experienced through several waves of city lockdowns due to the COVID nineteen pandemic, and uh, uh, due to these unforeseen city lockdowns, people have seen reduction in their salaries, and some with some even facing the possibilities of unemployment. As a result, people's uh, the residents' debt ratio surged rapidly, and people's demand for new house uh, decreased dramatically. So, uh, the supply side is remains the same, but the demand side dropped rapidly. The house price started to fall recently. So let's gonna we're gonna talk about the third questions, like what the most important question: What's the impact? of the significant declines in house price. Why, why it caused such a, um, a horror in, in China? So I'll start with two conclusions. First, it will in induce bank failures and the financial crisis. Second, like significant house price drops would uh, lead to increase in, un in unemployment rate and uh, financial recessions. So for the first one, like the potential bank failures and uh, uh, financial crisis, why would those happen when house price started to drop? So I'll use an I'll use an example to illustrate this this point. Uh, like in mortgage loan, when you want to buy a house, you use your house as a collateral. So for example, if you want to buy your house at a price of 8 million, you, you, you give your house to the bank, you use the house as collateral and borrow 8 million from the bank uh, to, and you, you keep paying their mortgage, right? But what if suddenly the house price started to drop and your house is only worth 5 million right now? So you you don't want this house you don't want to purchase this house anymore and you stop paying the luggage. Uh, the 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 bank will took back your property. So let 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 us, let's understand what's happening here. The bank paid eight millions for your properties, 
and the bank take back your property but now the property is only worth five millions which means the bank lost three millions in your loans if such um if such a, if if such a things occurs on a very uh, large scale a bank would face bankruptcy which would uh constant would would uh result in like financial crisis and for the for the second thing, for the second result arising from the significant decline in housing prices, is um, increasing unemployment rate and uh, the the financial recessions. As we all know, like in China, like thirty percent of those loans comes from uh, real estate industry. So, if there's a frequent occurrence of uh, mortgage defaults, the bank would tighten their lending business. So, uh, there's the reduction in the loan would result in a slowdown of mon money circulations, <laughs> the money slowdowns, which will lead to like economic, uh, which leads to a decreased economic activities. Ultimately, this would contribute to a a, a, a decrease in the overall demands, and causing a, economic recessions. That's a listing we want to see in this in China's, and that's a listing we want to see for government, for post government and the red and the peoples in China. So that's why Chinese government has been trying their best to stop the decrease in, in house price. And, uh, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.